This is WMAQ Chicago. The time is 8 o'clock, B-U-L-O-V-A, Boulevard Watts time. We now invite you to hear Fibber McGee. When you walk on wax, you save your floors. The Johnson Wax Program, presenting Fibber McGee and Company. Ted Weems, beginning the first week of his personal appearance tour at the Fox Theater, Detroit, we welcome tonight Billy Mills and his orchestra, who bow in with Fifi. <laughs> There's a very good reason why millions of up-to-date housewives are enthusiastic users of Johnson's Glow Coat. They've found that this remarkable no-rubbing polish works like a charm on their linoleum and floors. Apply a little Glow Coat to a dull, dingy piece of linoleum, and presto, you will have bright, gleaming linoleum without any work of rubbing or buffing. Glow Coat protects your floors from wear, shuts out dirt, makes them much easier to clean. If you haven't yet tried this easy-to-use polish on your own kitchen linoleum, order Johnson's self-polishing glow coat tomorrow from your dealer and learn the modern, sensible way to keep your floors clean and bright with practically no work. The government appealing to big business for cooperation. Fibber, the personification of big business, is determined to do his part by solving the local housing problem. And here in the office of the McGee Real Estate Agency, with his shadow, Silly Watson, we find Fibber Cottage for Sale McGee. <laughs> ah, you know, Sil, this is the business for me, real estate. I ever tell you about the time I built that subdivision up in Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> I better refresh your memory. And mine, too. Well, sir, I seen they needed better housing up there, so I built 500 bungalows out of ice with a FHA loan of a cool million. Well, how you pay it back, please? Oh, it was self-liquidating. Well, I remember... I'll get it, Phil. Probably a big deal. McGee Real Estate Agency, palaces, penthouses, and pup tents. Who? Oh, yes, Mrs. Beagle. What can I do for you? What? You got squirrels in your attic. <laughs> Have you tried hitting your knee with a hammer? <laughs> if your foot jumps up, you're probably not... Hello? Hello? <laughs> Imagine that, Phil. Squirrels in her attic. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but there's a, there's a hotel down the street full of elk, please, and they ain't complaining now. I got any appointments today, Phil? I don't know, Miss McGee, is you? Well, Dad Dreddit, ain't you my secretary? What does it say on my appointment pad? Well, it say here, uh, it say, Sea Biscuit in the Fold. Oh, no. <laughs> Below that. Yes. But it say, uh, go on vegetable diet. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Trouble with your health, Miss McGee? No, no. Trouble with the butcher. <laughs> he said, I'll get it, sir. McGee Real Estate Agency, castles and cabins, shacks and shanties. <laughs> You bet you, bud. We can sell you a nice plot on the corner of 14th and Oak. Huh? It's 90 feet deep and 12 feet wide. Well, yes, it is a little narrow, but if your in-laws move in, the plot thickens. Okay, bud. You know, Sil, it's about time something was done for building an architecture in this burg. It's been at a standstill ever since that woman architect built the town years ago. 
Why a woman architect, Miss McGee? Oh, you know. Well, you've seen her name on cornerstones all over town. What? Annie Dominey, 1888. <laughs> Annie Dominey, 1899. Great gal, Annie. Uh, uh, are you the agent? Oh, you betcha, Frank. And we've got just... Uh, I'm not Frank. Well, why not? You can always be frank with us, bud. <laughs> we hear everybody's troubles. Always willing to lend an ear. Which one you want? You better take the left one. I cut the other one shaving this morning. And, and you'll excuse me. I'm looking for a house. Oh, I know just the thing for you, bud. Let us build you a modernistic house. You know, all steel and concrete. No doors or windows. Ultraviolet lighting. Glass walls. Air conditioning. Uh, wait just a moment. Uh, no doors or windows. How do I get in or out? Oh, well, forget that, bud. <laughs> When you see the house, you won't want to go in. <laughs> and when you see the neighborhood, you won't want to go out. <laughs> the trouble with people nowadays, Sil. They ain't receptive to new ideas. What? Are you in charge here? You betcha, bud. Just let me know what you want, and I'll try and put you in your place. What's your business? I'm a band leader. Oh, a band leader, huh? And you want a house with a little swing on the front porch. <laughs> Are you working now? Will you be able to pay your rent? Oh, sure. In fact, I'm just starting on a new job. My orchestra's playing the Pippa McGee show. You know, Johnson's Wax. Oh, then you're Billy Mills! <laughs> well, Billy, I'm glad to meet you. I'm Pippa McGee. <laughs> well, well, imagine meeting you here. <laughs> <laughs> Very glad to meet you, Billy. And we might as well have an understanding right now. Just remember that on this broadcast, I'm the boss, see? And when I suggest a certain number, that's the number you play. Catch on to it? You keep that in mind and we'll get along all right. Oh, you think so, huh? Yeah, now for the next number, you play Little Gray Home in the West. That'll fit in with the program. Oh, yeah? Well, we're playing Bob Foyt. You're playing... Oh, I see. <laughs> that's, uh... Oh, that's fine. We'll, we'll make the house a birdhouse. <laughs> Shall I move right in? Absolutely. Bang it, Billy. State agency? Home sweet home McGee speaking. <laughs> Who? Oh, yes, Mrs. Fiddick. What? The house we sold you is haunted. Oh, come, come, Mrs. Fiddick. <laughs> I think you're just hysterical. Uh huh? Two ghosts. Two ghosts? And you only hear them on Sunday nights? <laughs> oh, don't worry about them, Mrs. Fiddick. Them are the Shroud twins. <laughs> Uh, was the lady satisfied with the explanation, please, sir? Yeah, she was very happy about the whole thing. 
By the way, Syl, is that Smith woman still squawking about the bathroom, bathtub not draining? <laughs> yes, and she called up four times by Miss McGee. She did. Uh, well, yes. next time she calls, tell her I says to ask her husband to fix it. Well, could he do it, please? Why not? He's one of the biggest plungers on Wall Street. He... <laughs> uh, Mr. McGee, will you please raise my rent? <laughs> raise your rent? Why, why, yes, I'll be glad to, Mr. Henning. Good. I don't seem to be able to. <laughs> Well, I hope that's all the complaints we get today, sir. Well, there's just one more, Miss McGee. Oh, yeah. That Mrs. Jones, she say her kitchen melodeon is looking awful. Melodeon, sir. Well, I'll have it fixed right away. A word to the wives is sufficient. Yes, and a word to your wives is sufficient, man. When the word is glow coat, the easy-to-use floor polish that makes linoleum look like new. Oh, it, from... it does. Oh, hi, if ever. Hello, Silly. Hi, Mr. <laughs> Oka. <laughs> You looking for a house, Harpo? Well, yes. I need a place to keep my dog in. He pants so hard, he keeps me awake. Oh, well, what you need for him is a little pant house. A pant house. <laughs> oh, what's the use? What's the use? <laughs> oh, dear. Good old Harpo. <laughs> Trouble with that dog of his is he, he only breathes through one nostril. He do? Sure. <laughs> He's a half-breed. <laughs> Hello there, Sonny. You the real estate man? You bet you, bud. You want to buy, sell, rent, or sublease? Me? Hey, what's he? I says buy or sell. Yep, oh, buy myself. Want to put my house up for sale? Mighty proud of it, too. Well, I don't doubt it, old timer. A man's home is his castle. Hey? I says a man's home is his castle. Oh, you want to wrestle, eh? Okay, oh. watch yourself, sonny. Oh. Hey! Oh. Hey! 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 Put it off. Get off of me. What's the idea? Ready? Right Thought I couldn't do it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say nothing of the kind. Then, yeah. You take too much for granted. For what? Granted. Take granted, it's stuck on. But if you ain't interested. Oh. <laughs> the nerve of that old fossil. Well, that's the way it goes in this business, Sill. Shucks. Hey, you ever dabble in real estate? Yes, I did when I was real little. Make anything out of it? Yes, sir. Mud pie. <laughs> oh, it's Clark Dennis. Hi, Clark. Hello, Fibber. Hi, silly. Hi, Mr. Dennis, please. Uh, what you want, Clark? Say, uh, Fibber, uh, huh? do you handle imaginary real estate? Imaginary real estate? <laughs> Why, Clark? You got castles in the air? No, but I got a gold mine in the sky. <laughs> a gold mine in the sky. Okay, we'll see how it pans out. Over the hill, Billy. <laughs>
You know what the real estate business needs in this town, Sil? Yes, Miss McGee. More slums. More slums? <laughs> Where'd you get that idea? I've been studying all the some places. I figure we got more poor folks than we got rich folks, so... Oh, we, uh, I'm sorry, Sil. So I, I don't think you understand the problem. I mind the time I was working on the housing problem with old man Pepper. Old House and Pepper, we called him. And he... I'll get it. McGee Real Estate Agency. Buying and building, swapping and selling. McGee speaking. Who? Oh, yes, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, we're listing your loft building, but there's only been one inquiry about it. No, he didn't like it. Well, when I told him there's no lift in the loft, he laughed and left. Okay, <laughs> As I was saying, Phil, the district in this town that needs building up is down by the railroad. And I got inside information that they're going to electrify the railroad. And if that happens... Oh, shucks, I'll get it. <clears throat> McGee Rental Agency. McGee speaking. Who? Oh, hello, Mr. Hampat. It does? You are? It is? You can't? They do? Oh, that's terrible, Hampat. I'll find you another place right away. Okay, Hampat. Imagine that, Sil. That was Reginald Hampat, the actor. Remember that room we rented him across from the theater? Yes. Don't he like it, please, sir? Oh, he says it's ruining his health. He can't sleep nights. Well, how come, Miss McGee? There's a big electric sign across the street, and all night long it flashes on and off. He'd bother his eyes, huh? No, but every time the sign flashes, Hampat jumps out of bed and takes a bow. <laughs> well, well, Miss McGee... How come he don't pull down the shade, please? Well, that's what I wanted, but he says the union won't let him lower his own curtain. <laughs> oh, hi, sis. Have a chair. What can we do for you today? I am Mrs. Crawford, and I'm... Oh, very... well, I'm glad to know you, Mrs. Crawford. How's Brother Crawford? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to one of the biggest realtors in the business, sis. Been in this business since I was three years old. Three years? Yes, sir. Why, when I was only three years old, I built some little houses out of blocks... Set up my teddy bear as a holding company, financed it with lollipops, and foreclosed in time for my afternoon nap. <laughs> from then on, it was a cinch. Every land boom I was in doubled itself. Boom, boom, McGee, I was known as in them days. Oh, indeed? Indeed and in words, sis. Boom, boom, McGee, bombarding bachelors, blondes, beggars, and bridegrooms with bombastic ballyhoo for better abodes, outbidding, blustering bullies, and bartering for banks, bars, bookshops, beehives, and bird bars... Building beautiful bungalows for blushing brides with basement, bedroom, boudoir, and bath, and broadcasting Boom Boom McGee as a byword from Baltimore to Ballet Ballet. <laughs> but enough of this, Twitter. I mustn't be so chatty, sis. What was it you wanted? Why, I rent an apartment from you at the Elms. You remember? Oh, yes, the Elms. Nice joint, or nice place, the Elms. And the sidewalks were in a deplorable condition. Covered with ice. Can't you do something about it? Oh, absolutely, sis. I'll send a man out there this afternoon. To clean the walk? No, to change the sign. We'll call it the Slippery Elm. Oh. <clears throat> Alan, uh, what was I saying, Sil? You were saying something about a little old railroad, please. Oh, yes. We was talking about electrifying the railroad. Well, it's about time them railroads would modernize. Yes, and how much smarter to modernize your floors will look if you use Johnson's Wax, the fire. Powerful. You back again? Yes. I want to pay my rent. Well, fine. Hand it over. Okay, here you are. Hey, what's the idea of paying off with two bit pieces? Well, I live by myself, you know. Yeah, but what are these? Bachelor quarters. Mail me the respect. <laughs> Well, come on, Phil. Put on your hat. Well, yes, well, where are we going, Miss McGee? We're going down to the railroad yards and look over the property. Uh, I'm sorry, sis. The office is closed for the day. Oh, don't you know who I am? <laughs> no, I don't, sis. Uh, who are you and who sent you? Billy Mill sent me. And your name? Rosalie. Oh, Rosalie. You come to get the key. Give Rosalie the key, boys. <laughs> well, that's, uh, there you are, Rosalie. One of our best flats. Over the hill, Billy. <laughs>
remind you again of Johnson's new creamy white furniture polish, entirely different from all others. It gives an exquisite satiny wax luster that sheds dust and finger smudges, wards off scratches, ensures lasting beauty for your furniture. If you want something better than the old-fashioned, oily kind of polish that leaves a cloudy haze on tabletops and chair arms, then be sure to try the new modern polish absolutely free from oil. Johnson's Creamy White Furniture Polish in the handsome glass bottle. How far is the little old railroad yards, please? Oh, well, let's see. No, it's just about another block, Susan. Well, hello there, Fieser. Oh, Nick the Populous. Hi, Nick. Oh, I'm doing as well as could be unexpected. <laughs> what is this I'm listening to about you being a real estateman? Or is somebody just being a turtle tail? <laughs> no, no, it's a fact, Nick. I'm doing quite a business and buying, selling, and renting houses, apartments, stores, and all stuff like that there. Silly's helping me. Is that so? Yeah. Well, I was maybe seeing you with an idea for finding a house for my son Algerios to live in it. Oh. He is being married with a cupie and is not wishing to live in the same places with his outlaws. <laughs> you mean his in-laws. Oh, I understand, Nick. You know the old saying, live alone and like it. Sure. There is also another old saying which I appeal to. It is saying, the corsets of a true love is not running like an old smoothie. Unquote. <laughs> So you're looking for a house for the newlyweds, eh, Nick? Oh, sure, Fisher. But finding a little loving nest here is like hunting for a noodle in a smokestack, I'm thinking. <laughs> but as I'm telling these kids when they are marrying each other, kids, I am saying, while they are making cuckoo eyes at each other, kids, I'm telling them while she is talking a baby talks with him, kids, I'm saying... Oh, Dad, Brad, what did you say to the kids? Well, what is the difference? Nobody is paying the slightest attempting with me. Well, so long, Peter. If somebody is coming to me looking for a homely place to live, I will prefer him to you. <laughs> well, come on, Sil. Let's walk over to the railroad yards and look around them. Yes, but it's getting off of dark, Mr. McGee. Well, I'm glad of it. If anybody sees a big real estate man like me snooping around there, they might suspect what I'm doing. But I don't think they will, please. There ain't nobody here but me and you. Well, I hope not. You know, I can just visualize this property a few years from now as ideal residential district. Electric trains whizzing past your door, silent and clean. And if I can buy a small cottage right by the side of the track, I can... Oh, I'm sorry, bud. I didn't see you. That's all right. What's your moniker? I'm Denver Louie. Oh, uh, I'm Waxy McGee, bud. <laughs> Confidentially, I'm nosing around here looking for a little cottage I can pick up cheap. So Say, can... I know just the thing for you, Waxy. Come with me. Oh. You see, Sil? That's destiny. No, sir, that's, that's Louis. <laughs> Imagine me stumbling on the very guy that can sell me a little house right here. Here you are, buddy. It's small, but it's comfortable. Oh, you lived here long, Louis? Yeah, off and on. Oh. I travels a lot, see. I can let you have it cheap. Well, I can't see much of it in the dark, Louis. Uh, suppose I come back tomorrow. Let's... Okay, but there's another guy after me to sell it, and I would. Oh well, uh, well, let's have a look at it now then. You, you got a match, Phil? No, for Miss McGee. Yeah, me neither, buddy. Oh well, it don't matter much what the house looks like. It's the property that counts. That's what I always say. Here, here's the back porch. Hmm, cute, ain't it? Iron railing and everything. Now come on, Phil. Well, yes, Miss McGee, but I don't think. Oh, you, uh... come on. Yeah. Uh... How do you like it, buddy? Steam heated, got a little tower upstairs to look out of and everything. <laughs> it's, well, it's kind of bare. Oh, well, who cares about that? Uh, how much, Louis? Twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five bucks? Why, that's ridiculous. Okay, make it twenty. No, no, I didn't mean that. Fifteen, I need the cash. Okay, okay, here. Take it quick. You come to my office in the morning and we'll sign the papers. Here's my car. Thanks, buddy. Me old mother is going to hate the tinker me selling the old homestead. But you know how it is. So long, Waxy. So long, Louie. See you in the morning. Hot dog, Sil. Hot dog. I got it. Just what I wanted. A little red house right on the tracks. Now watch me go places. Hey. Hey. Sil. Hey, what is this? We're home. That's what Joe is. You got a little house on the track and we is both going places. What you mean? You done bought yourself a caboose. Oh, sure.
If you have linoleum on your kitchen floor, or if you have some linoleum rugs in your other rooms, don't run the risk of spoiling them by floor scrubbing. Linoleum that's scrubbed gradually loses its life and color. It cracks, gets bumpy, and finally has to be replaced with a new floor covering. Now here's the proper way to keep your linoleum and floors clean and sparkling all the time. Use Johnson's self-polishing glow coat. This wonderful liquid polish is very easy to apply. It never streaks or smears. Glow coat dries in 20 minutes to a beautiful polish, making your linoleum shine like new without rubbing or buffing. You can save yourself all the drudgery of floor scrubbing by protecting your floors and linoleum with Johnson's Glow Coat. Look for the attractive yellow can with the lettering G-L-O hyphen C-O-A-T. Johnson's self-polishing glow coat. Well, Sil, I was quite impressed with Billy Mills' music tonight. Yes, sir. Them 20 sounded real 40. <laughs> wonder what he thought of me. Was he impressed by me as a real estate man? Well, I, I wouldn't want to re-quote what he said, but... Oh, come on, Sil. Flattery don't affect me much. <clears throat> What'd he say? Well, he said tonight he'd look like you bit off more than you could shoot you. Yes. <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night, Molly. This is Marlowe Wilcox, speaking for the makers of Johnson Black and Glow Coat at this evening's Johnson, inviting you to be with us again next Monday night at the same time. Good night. This is the Red Network of the National.